Aaron, how much do you credit Nestor Cortez for really setting the tone and, and leading the way by putting up zeros tonight? Yeah, it was huge. Um, you know, I think I was hoping for three or four maybe, but he was pitch efficient enough to, you know, almost get through five there if he doesn't uh, have the walk. But he was terrific. I, I mean, just filling up the zone, uh, obviously against a very good offense. And, uh, and then the rest of the bullpen was able to take it from there. But he was huge for us tonight, like he's been, seemed like every time he pitches for us. Was it difficult to make the decision for Altuve there in the fifth inning? Not really. Um, he was already over the pit, pitches wise that I wanted to go with him. Um, so I was kind of giving him that last batter. And when he walked him on four and I saw Sanchi walk out there, because I think Sanchi sensed he was getting a little bit tired too. Um, I was pretty convicted to go get him. Uh, you know, even though I'm sure he'll be upset with me for not getting him to win, but uh, he gave us you know, more than we could hope to, as we continue to build up his, his pitch threshold. You mentioned the rest of the bullpen. You use Green and then Loisaga there in that ninth inning. Is that something we'll likely see a lot more of? Not necessarily. I mean, you know, Greeny closed one out the other night. Chappie's going to get back to closing. Uh, you know, when Britt comes back, he can factor in there. Um, so, no, it's just I, I, I liked I liked Greeny in the seventh there for the middle of their order and, and – and then low coming back around if we needed help at the top there. So it was just kind of more where I liked them tonight. Aaron, as a, as a big league hitter, what would you have hated in terms of uh, facing a guy like Cortez? Well, his fastball plays up. You know, it's, he's got a good spin to it, so he can pitch a lot of different ways. Obviously, he, he messes with your timing with his delivery. That's unique that he does some things every now and then that will throw you off. He'll drop arm angles on you every now and then. Uh, you know, he'll cut the ball in on you. He can take something off and really backdoor stuff to you. So he just he obviously gives you a lot of look, a lot of different looks and a lot of deceptive looks. But, you know, but I think sometimes what gets lost is he has better stuff than I think people think. I think they just think he's this crafty guy out there. He's got pretty good stuff, and and his heater definitely plays. See you next to Marley Rivera. Hey, Aaron. What did you see from DJ on both sides of the ball today, particularly in that sandwich at the Yeah. Um, well, Defensively, he was terrific. A couple really good plays over there at first base. Um, but what I noticed in the at-bat was I, he, he fell behind 0-2, and I felt as the at-bat went on, and I saw him kind of shaking his head to himself in the middle of the at-bat like, like, like he had everything covered. Like he had, he, he, he had seen everything. I thought he put some really good swings on some balls that he fouled off, actually, where he was actually on time. Um, and I just think he got really, really comfortable with the stuff he was seeing as that at bat unfolded, and obviously a huge hit to to get us a couple tack on runs there. You can go next to Molly Walker. Aaron, you touched on it a little bit prior to the game, but after getting that hit from Gardner tonight, how much have you guys been missing that kind of production from your center and left fielders, and what kind of difference does Gardner make when he is connecting like that? Yeah, I mean, because he brings a lot to the table outside of just in the box. You know, obviously the ability to play great defense in center or left, um, his speed, um, and we know if we get him going, he can. He, he, you know, he's 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 got some, he's got some patience, some on base with that power. So hopefully we can get him going um, to where he can really be that offensive factor, especially down at the bottom of the order for us. Um, because we know what he's capable of, and I still feel like it's absolutely in there. And you know, we've seen over the last couple of years, he's gotten a little bit better as the as the seasons worn on, and, and has had some good second halves for us. And and hoping that's the case for uh, this season as well. Andy Miller, please have you. Aaron, one more on uh, Nestor. Uh, when fans talk about him on social media, they're always talking about his uh, big mustache. I'm wondering what you what you think about it, and uh, do you see people teasing him at all about it? I think it fits him well. Um, 
it's 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 part of what makes them unique and, and special um when we called him back up and he had the mustache i made fun of him a little bit for it but uh i think it's perfect